In this video, I'll be showing you how to resolve issues with not being able to download or install the Minecraft launcher or Minecraft for Windows with the launcher. So as you can see, I'm currently on the Microsoft Store and if I click onto the Minecraft launcher, I then have the install button and if I went to press the install button, it would not work. And if I go back and was to do the same on the Minecraft for Windows Plus launcher, and press the install button as well, then it will not do anything. So there is an issue there that's stopping me from being able to either download or install Minecraft. So to resolve this issue, there's a few different things that we can do. But before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more videos just like this, then be sure to click on that subscribe button. We are always doing videos on how to fix issues with games and troubleshoot problems with games and also videos on Windows. Alrighty, it's now time to resolve the issue with the Microsoft Store. So the first thing that you need to do is just keep the Microsoft Store open. You then need to select your profile icon in the top right hand corner. You now need to select sign out. And as you can see, it now says sign in. You also need to do the same in the Xbox app if you're using it. So if you open up the start menu and type in Xbox and then open up the Xbox app, you then need to select your profile icon in the top right hand corner and then press sign out. So now you've signed out the Xbox app and also the Microsoft Store, you now need to go ahead and sign back into them. And once you have signed back in, you can then go ahead and try and download either the Minecraft for Windows launcher if that's what you're trying to download and install, or you can try the Minecraft launcher. So if that didn't resolve the issue that you're having, then the next thing you need to do is just go down to your system tray and ensure you have the correct time and date set. So that is currently the correct time and date for myself. You also need to check you have the correct region selected. And to check this, all you need to do is right click on the system clock and you then need to click onto adjust date slash time. You need to scroll down and you then need to select date, time and regional formatting. And as you can see, I have my correct region set there, which is the UK. So once you've done all that, and if that wasn't the issue, then the next thing you need to do is just give Windows a simple restart. As it could just be a case of having to restart Windows that resolves the issue of you not being able to download or install in the Microsoft Store. If that didn't fix the issue, then the next thing you need to do is also right click on the start menu icon and you now need to select task manager and you then need to go across to users and you now need to just sign out any user profiles that are currently signed into your computer as one of these could be causing the issue of you not being able to download and install. So if you did have any other users signed in, go ahead now and try and download the Minecraft launcher. Also, before you do sign out someone else on your computer, make sure they have saved everything because they will lose their work once you sign them out. So if that wasn't the issue, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure Windows is up to date. And to check this, we can right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, and then go ahead and click on update and security. The next thing you need to do is click on the check for updates button and Windows will now check for any new updates and if it detects any, it will then install them. And as you can see, it's now installing an update. If yours detected any new updates, let them install, restart your computer and then try downloading again in the Microsoft Store. If that's not the problem, then the next thing you need to do is open up the Microsoft Store again. And then this time you need to click onto your library. So you need to go down to the bottom and click onto this icon here. You now need to go ahead and click on Git Updates. And it will now search all the apps on your computer to see if any new updates are available. And once it's finished searching, as you can see, I've got 17 available. It will then begin to update those apps. So let them update. And once you've done that, Go ahead again and try and download and install the Minecraft launcher or whatever Minecraft you're having issues with. So if that wasn't the thing that's causing you issues, then the next thing that we want to do is try running a troubleshoot. And this can be done again within the Windows settings. So you need to right click on the start menu icon again and go to settings. This time you need to go to update and security again. 
but we then need to select Troubleshoot. You now need to select Additional Troubleshooters. You now need to scroll down and you then need to select Windows Store Apps and then run the troubleshooter. Let this see if it can detect any issues and if it does, then follow the steps in resolving the problem. So UAC, that is not going to cause me an issue, so I can skip that. I know that's not the problem. And as you can see, it's now trying to detect other issues. As you can see, the troubleshooter has now finished and it didn't detect any issues on my computer. So I can now move on to the next step. If yours did detect issues, then go ahead and try and download the Minecraft launcher. The next thing we need to do is close down the Windows settings, right click on the start menu icon, and you then need to select apps and features. You now need to type in store and you then need to select the Microsoft store and click on advanced options. You then need to scroll down and select terminate and you then need to click on repair. And this is now going to repair the store. Once it's done that, go ahead again and try and install Minecraft. If that didn't work, then the next thing you need to do is select reset and then reset again. So now go ahead and see if that helped. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you could try is opening up the start menu and then typing in WS reset and then right clicking on this and go and run as administrator and this will clear the cache for the Microsoft store. Once you've done that and if it didn't help, then you now need to open up PowerShell. You now need to open up the start menu and type in Power Shell. And you then need to right click on Windows PowerShell and go run as administrator. You now need to copy the code that's in the description below and then paste it into the Windows PowerShell by going Control and V. And you can now go ahead and press Enter. And it will now begin to reinstall the Microsoft Store. Just make sure you have backed up any important data before doing this, just in case anything was to go wrong. Once it's finished, you will then see the same line again as before, saying see Windows System 32. So you can now go ahead and close down PowerShell, restart your computer, and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then you could try switching user accounts and seeing if you can install the launcher on a different user profile. That way you know if it's an issue with your profile. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.